Today is Easter, and in this house, seven people will die at the hands of a masked maniac. <laughs> Happy Easter, and welcome back to to a Nimrod Horror Review. It's been kind of a while. Um, there's been a lot of reasons why I haven't posted up videos. Um, some some of personally, some of it technical reasons. But uh, we are back, and uh, angels, angels, and a demons month. Well, we'll uh continue next month because this month it really didn't get that fair shot. Well anyway, we are talking Easter horror movies now. Today I'll be looking at the somewhat um uh, cult classic film from uh from uh, two thousand six called Easter Bunny Kill Kill. So the basic story here is is this uh this like rotten guy who we see uh, kill this convenience store clerk within the very beginning, and this film starts off right in your face, which is great. Um, uh, he he's going to uh, to visit his uh, current girlfriend at her house Easter Eve. Now, now this is the night that he meets. Meets her son for like the very first time. He didn't know that uh, that her son was like an older teen slow kid, you know, uh, you know, with mental health issues. Um, so he was frustrated with that instantly. He didn't let her know, of course, because since since he did, I guess honestly like her. Um, but, but any time she was away, he would always, you know, trash talk the kid, semi-abuse him, and stuff like that. So, anyway, it is Easter now. The next day, she, she has to go, go to work for like an extra long shift. I think it's like a 12-hour shift. She's, she's a nurse, so, you know, long shifts. So he volunteers to, you know, watch, watch your son. His uh, game plan is is just to have hookers and a cocaine. That's his Easter party plan, and and he invites this like uh, sick weirdo who who gets off on little slow slow uh, boys. Um, to like come over and you know mess with her son, just like knock him out and he can do whatever he wants. Hey, like so this this film is a little bit twisted. Um, and then this man dressed just as an Easter Bunny starts starts like killing a lot of people. Most of the cast cast is killed off. Um, that's pretty much it, um, but I will say, this movie is very, very dark. It's, a uh, it's, a uh, dark in its setting. There's, there's a lot of, like, you know, lights off scenes, um, and it's, and it's mostly a night movie. The, uh, themes are pretty dark, too. And then... Then there's this a uh, dark humor throughout the film, um, and the director 
did a really good job here, um, especially with like the like the kills, kills meet meet the gore. It was just fantastic. There are some really great uh, kills here, and some really great gore. And for for this movie with with such a low uh, budget, the uh, director did such a great job on not making it look bad because there's so many uh, you know really really low budget films that whenever they try to make something gory, it uh, only it it sometimes looks, you know, really fake and really cheesy. This guy did not do that. And I think that's that's a part of the reason the film's mostly dark. So you can't see small things. And that's just great great uh directing. Knowing your limitations with with your budget. Fantastic job there. Um the stories also also good, you know, it's it's a very twisted tale, especially the uh, ending. Um, it's kind of a twist. Uh, the the uh, ending twist, I'm not the biggest fan of, but it makes sense. Um, but but for a person that likes darker, more like twisted, almost slasher films, this is the movie to watch. This is. This has no like a uh, Easter feel to it, like how like like how Black Christmas gives you that gives you that a uh, uh, Christmas feeling. This one gives you no Easter feeling. But then again, the, what what is an Easter feeling? Um, but I would say you know definitely slasher fans check it out, and I. I will wrap it up here, and I will give this a pretty strong 8 out of 10 Killer Bunnies. See you guys next time, and Happy Easter again.